That right there is the very first bloom of our giant grenadilla. Less than one year old from seed. So I'm checking the mortgage lifters. And I see one's missing. Well, look at that. And an eggplant I planted. <laughs> Crazy. This is a tomato seed thing that never took off. Just sat there and looked strangled. Notice how knotted up the roots are? It's nematodes. Be nice to your mother and always say please. Be loyal to friends and compost your enemies. Be nice to your mother. Welcome back. My son is making transplant trays for me. Kind of with the, uh, the John Jeevens Grow More Vegetable style wood transplant trays. So we can actually start stuff ahead of time and then put it in the ground. So in order to do that, right now I am making a little kind of a temporary nursery area. You see this stuff here? That I'm kicking with my elegantly clad foot. Oh yeah, this stuff is the best weed block that I have ever, ever used. This is the professional nursery stuff. And I learned about this from Dave Taylor at Taylor Gardens Nursery. This is DeWitt Sunbelt Woven Landscape Fabric or something like that. That's what it's called. But what it does is it actually lets water through, but it kills everything underneath it and it lasts like a decade in full sun. Um, and I, I really like it. This is the stuff that I recommend in my Start Your Home Based Plant Nursery book but I can't actually get it here. So a friend of mine took this roll through on an airplane for me uh, this last week, which is awesome. I actually paid an oversized fee to get it, but it was totally worth it because now I can use it for all sorts of things. It's like instant nursery. All you do is you roll out your piece and you cut it and then you get these staples and you hammer it into the ground. I'll put links below this video and uh, put my affiliate thing on there or whatever but if you want it it's cool stuff I really I really like it instant instant space to work with without weeds so I'm just measuring this out a little bit to start a little area where I can put some transplant trays so let's do that and then we'll hammer this thing down to the ground and start doing some transplants here you got to fold this stuff under because it'll unravel or you just kind of burn the edge with something a little bit I've done both today I'm standing in fire ants fire ants are the wrong kind of fire get off of my feet you little boogers check that out these are really strong things Kind of get it as far as you're going to get it. Fold it under. Go corner to corner. It's good to get all the rocks and stuff out first, but you don't really have to worry about the grass that much. Just cut it low and then you're good enough. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm putting down landscape fabric. That's what I'm doing. See? Giant staples. I want to come see you. You do? You want to come see me while I'm stapling? Concrete? Just put them in the beer again. This one. Thank you. This one. 
Do you want me to do that one? Yeah, that one. All right. Okay. You want to use them? Okay. Where are you going to put them? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm going to put them right there. Apple, apple. I have one. Thank you. I got, I got put one right here. I got one right here. You're going to put one in? Here. Do this one. Okay. Hammer it. Thanks. I'll hold this. Hammer this one. Hold the hammer. Ready? What? You're doing it. Look at that. You know how to do that? Yeah. I didn't know you were strong enough to hammer. Landscape staples. I wanted some staples. We're going to do one more staple right here. And that's it. Ready? There we go. Now I don't like this corner. So I'm going to pull it up and staple it one more time. Okay. A little tighter. That's better. There we go. There we go. Spread it out. Oh, look at that! <laughs> look at that. <laughs> There's a toad in her. <laughs> I thought he was a clump of soil. Look at him. Okay. What? <laughs> He's asleep. So since my pak choy are doing so very well in the garden, and I started those from transplants, yeah. and also because my tomatoes didn't do nearly as well with direct seeding as I would have liked, that's why I'm going ahead and doing these transplant trays. And I'm actually short on potting soil, so I only had enough to fill really two trays completely. Hi, so filming? I'm filming, yes. Yeah. So I'm putting them into here. I'm going to do the pak choy and I'm also going to do tomatoes later probably and I want to do uh, papaya so I can transplant them out too. Incidentally the papaya that I planted in the previous video doing quite decently um, and the ones that I direct seeded are doing very well. well. Let's see what we have here. Oh look at we have weird looking seeds. These are hybrid pak choy and they come in uh, colors that I'm sure that pak choy never comes in in nature. That's really weird. Kind of expensive seeds actually. I guess you pay extra for the blue. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just sprinkle them across here and I'm not going to worry too much about how perfect they are. I just, I don't want to waste seed because the seed is expensive. Hybrids are expensive, but the nice thing about hybrids is that you get uh, often get very consistent results and very marketable results and since I am looking at actually selling um, I am not playing man and actually hybrid was all that I could get locally too so <laughs> there's another reason all right so what I'm doing is I'm just sprinkling these across and 
you know, if they're like an inch or so apart, that's great. I'm gonna transplant them later when they when they come up. Can I Actually, put them I will put some in there in just a second. Don't worry. So there we go. That is planted. I may have them. Um, not these. Why? Because I will give you some tomatoes to plant in just a minute. Okay. You want to mine? Yours doesn't have anything in it yet. So it doesn't make sense to water it yet. So this is getting cleared back through here. And there are nice rows working their way down there. Eggplants, beans. These are Heatmaster tomatoes, more eggplants. These are the Lucid Gem, of which there are four remaining out of 10. These are the Carbon, of which there are like six remaining. And then Okras. But the standout star has been Bok choy, looking really good. What, what is that? Get out of there. Bok choy. These guys came from transplants. I just kind of tucked them into, you know, different spots here and there, and they are really thriving. And, you know, we've eaten quite a few leaves off there. You see that? We're eating them every day for breakfast, and they're still growing. That's what I want to do. I want to get more of those. Just roll them right through here, you know? Spread it around. Good. And then we can open these tomatoes. This is another variety I didn't get to put out yet. So we'll just start them and transplant them out later. Hungarian Heart from Baker Creek. Originated outside of Budapest, Hungary around 1900. Brilliant reddish pink ox hearts are large, frequently exceeding one pound. Firm and meaty like all ox heart types. So we're not supposed to say anything negative, right? About how that it's not gonna do anything and it's all gonna die and all that stuff. We don't say those things anymore. We're gonna be positive. These are gonna do great. Okay, ready? Yeah. We have to plant the tomato seeds. Take a little pinch. Let's put them across the ground like this. We will... Oh, that was a big pinch there. Tomato seeds all across the ground. Okay, now we're gonna just go like this. Yeah. Crumble them up a little bit. And then we just gotta water them in. And we're all set. Okay, good job, all done. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Water your tomatoes. And then we have to watch it because in about five to seven days or so, tomatoes will come up. You want to see the tomatoes come up? Yeah. Little plants will come up and we'll see them. Okay. It'll be fun. And we're going to protect them and then we will plant them out when they're big enough, when they're nice and strong. That'll be good. Well, thank you for joining me. We'll see how the transplants go. I've used this method before. You can see it in my video on growing tobacco from long, long ago. I used to have a whole bunch of these boxes that I used to start seedlings with. And then I got more into direct seeding. But since I've had so much trouble with direct seeding here in the tropics, I've decided, all right, we're going back, we're doing some transplants, and we might as well do it in a manner that is long term. So making these boxes like this, these last a lot longer than little plastic trays. Thanks for joining me. Catch you guys next time. And until then, may your thumbs always be great.
Okay, that's enough. <laughs> yes, Daddy's filming, okay? You don't have to tell her. <laughs>